Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to another episode of PSVR News. This one I'm excited about because this one involves PSVR, Hideo Kojima, Konami, even though they're trash now, but it also involves Silent Hills and Sony and PS5. So we got all these things together and I think we got an exciting news story or at least a big rumor. Before we jump into it though, maybe you can consider hitting that like or subscribe button or whatever that would help me out very much. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So, people who have been paying attention to my channel might remember this video I did all the way back in March where it was pretty much talking about how Kojima and Konami had been rumored to be in talks with Sony. Sony were acting as like a peacemaker between the two because of course Kojima and Konami had a big fallen out, big enemies, bad blood there. And the reason Sony were trying to bring them together was so that they could get Kojima to work on a new Silent Hill game or maybe a continuation on the cancelled one Silent Hills and that that would be a PS5 exclusive. Now back in that video when all those rumors were circulating around one of the leakers or the insiders claimed that this game was going to run on PS5's next generation virtual reality headsets which we assume would be called PSVR 2. But that was all the way back in March and since then there's kind of been nothing really. I mean there has been a lot of rumors that Silent Hills is being remed or Silent Hill has been rebooted and that it will be a PS5 exclusive but nothing has really come of that until now where we have a fresh kind of a fresh wave of news and at least one insider claiming to know a little bit more. So I'm going to pull up this article from Screen Rant and this is by Alex Santa Maria and this title is Silent Hills for PS5 confirmed by God of War Ragnarok leaker. First of all this leaker has got a history of leaking things and he has been correct. This particular guy leaked or teased or revealed God of War Ragnarok that that was coming. Except this time he's talking about not just one game but two games. One of them is a Metal Gear Solid remake, a ground up remake done by the guys at Blue Point Games who you may know as the people who've done Demon's Souls, the remaster that's just come out for PS5 now. They also did the Shadow of the Colossus remaster or remake I should say, not remasters. So these guys are pros at doing remakes and they do a fantastic job. So if you're a Metal Gear Solid fan like I am, uh, you'll be very excited by that alone, but that is kind of flat news, if you know what I mean. What's a little bit more interesting, I think, in relation to this channel is that Silent Hill is also being discussed here by this leaker. So this leaker is a YouTuber who goes by the name of Moore's Law is Dead. Now he's pretty big, he's got over 100,000 subscribers I believe. And as I said, he already got that God of War one under his belt. So he likely has some kind of network where he's getting information from people somehow. And he has a podcast and in, that, in this recent episode of the podcast, this is where he started talking about, uh, hey, Silent Hills is almost definitely a thing, so is Metal Gear Solid by Blue Point. And he's quoted here as saying that Silent Hills is almost entirely confirmed. At this point, I feel like I should say, this is not guaranteed. This guy here could be wrong. Even if he believes himself what he's saying to be true, things can change. That, that quote there says, almost entirely confirmed. That leaves a little bit of wiggle room for it to be cancelled. And it could go wrong, so do take this all with a grain of salt. Anyway. He also claims that Konami and Kojima were able to come to an agreement that would allow the game maker to continue the work he started before leaving the publisher. So let's say this is true. When are we going to hear about it? Well, this guy has, I don't know if he's got the information on this or not, or maybe it's just a theory, but basically the Game Awards. So he says, some might expect given the history between Kojima and Jeff Keighley, the announcement of Silent Hills could be one of the big reveals at this year's Game Awards. So for those of you who don't know, Jeff Keighley and Hideo Kojima, they're like bestest buds, you know, so they are, they get along really well. Keighley, of course, being the host of the Game Awards, which are coming up on the 10th of December, which is only like less than two weeks away. So back when Konami basically fired Kojima or met his life hell to the point where he quit, uh, Kojima publicly went on the Game Awards and used that as a platform to basically say Konami or shitheads. Mr. Kojima had every intention of uh, being with us tonight, uh, but unfortunately he was uh, informed by a lawyer representing Konami uh, just recently that uh, 
he would uh, not be allowed to uh, travel to uh, tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept um, any awards. And then later on, Kojima would reveal trailers for Death Stranding at the Game Awards and like world premieres. And of course, he put Jeff Keighley in the Death Stranding game as like an NPC character. So those two guys are tight. You know, they're thick as thieves. So it would be no shock at all if Kojima did indeed reveal this game at the Game Awards because of that tight relationship. Now, I will say that this new leaked information does not make any mention of VR, but just the fact that this is being rumored and that it lines up pretty well with what we were talking about in March, eight months ago, back in that video I did. The potential for this to support PSVR 2, I think is pretty good, you know? Not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination. This game might not even exist. This could all be a bunch of lies or it could all fall through, whatever. Plus, being that I'm such a massive Metal Gear Solid fanboy, I'm a Kojima fanboy and I love Silent Hill 2. That's one of my favorite horror games of all time. And of course, I love PSVR. Combine all these things together and that could be like a dream game uh, situation. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all this. Is this possible? Is this just a bunch of pipe dreams, wishful thinking, etc, etc. And with that, I will end this video, lads and ladies. Thank you very much for watching. Before I go though, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as I speak. Thanks to their generosity, they're keeping this channel nice and moist. In particular, let me give a huge shout out to the top tier Patreon supporters. Pete Hawkins, Crum, Columbus Thomas III, Chop517, Tradition, and Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for that support. Really is appreciated. If you would like to head on over to patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins, you can do so to support the channel there. But if not, do not worry. I would be happy with the subscribes, the likes, the comments, all that usual. YouTube and shite, you know how it is yourself. Finally, let me give a massive thank you to Decepticon for letting me use his music in all my videos. And for those of you who are fans of Decepticon, he's working on a new album that should be coming out relatively soon. So look forward to that. With that out of the way, let me end the video. Thank you very much for watching, lads and ladies. Until next time, stay moist.